guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got the V-Jump leaks, and I would say this is really a uh, best-case scenario right here. Um, I was expecting V-Jump leaks could potentially uh, show the Int LR Gohan EZA. Um, by the way, I'm going to do a data download video. Uh, I'll record that after this, and I'll probably put that up in a few hours. Um, I'm probably also going to do a video... I think, like, sort of like a community reaction to Gohan, because uh, to me, like, Gohan has always been one of the kings of damage. He's definitely not one of the kings of damage now, right? But he's such a great balance unit, you know, 300k defense, you know, five, six million attack stats at will. Um, I think he's great. I think he's probably one of the top 10 best units in the game. Uh, but it seems like people are disappointed, so I'd like to see some thoughts uh, related to that. Um, So, V-Jump. Right? I was thinking that maybe they showed him or LR Goku and Piccolo or something like that. Um, best case scenario would be a hint at Tianabata, and we definitely got it. So we have the info for Legends, and we also have the info for Dokkan. I love this, dude. Gogeta Zenkai Awakening. <laughs> it's just... Uh, Legends, they be bullshitting with V-Jump, man. They just... Like, Legends does a lot of things, I think, very well. Um, but V-Jump, they gotta get better at this. Like... Every month, it's just, like, so, like, not, there's nothing right there, right? Like, it's just, come on. Now, for Dokkan, um, it's a Frieza into Final Form Frieza and Dead Core, right? Like, Dead Core. It's like, it's, like, it's, at first, it maybe could be a little bit difficult to figure out what this is, but it's this, right here. This, like, these are actually probably the arts for the Frieza, right? Like, this, to me... Looks like probably a farmable Frieza SSR. Um, and then when Dokkan Awaken right here. And then, I mean, if you take a look, you know, Ginyu Force and Zangia appear in the Dead Corpse. And then, boom, Zangia, Kui. But there's the Ginyu Force member right there. There's Birder right there, right? So we can sort of see. Um, you know what's really funny? Is this is one of Garlic Jr.'s henchmen right here. Back when this happened, was just like, yeah, March 31st. Back then, this was our first representation of Garlic Jr. and Dokkan. Now we actually have Garlic Jr. You know, we have the LR Goku and Piccolo, you know, from the first Garlic Jr. movie. So all of that is, you know, pretty good. So this appears to be coming, again, probably a free-to-play unit. Um, you know, maybe they would add a new stage to this event. It's hard to say for sure. This, of course, was the April Fool's Day event this year. Uh, you know, still very bizarre that they sort of, like, held it until, like, April 9th. Again, just... Uh, very, very mysterious, right? I, I still think that's just, like, so bizarre. But, you know, this guy is definitely pretty good, right? So, uh, that, of course, is characters from what movie? Gogeta and Janeba movie. So, you know, I've been thinking for a long time that, like... Okay, so if we go over to Goku right here, right? Let me go down to this one right here. Nope, nope, excuse me. This one right here. This unit uh, is the remake of... This unit right here, basically, right? This three anniversary unit, they're sort of remade into this unit, which is, I think, one of the best design cards ever, one of the best aging cards ever. Just this card is just absolutely amazing in like nearly every single way, right? Just a truly a godly card. Um, but the thing is, this is part of a set, right? Like there's, you know, the Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Vegito, and then there's the Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Gogeta. Um, and you know, considering those original two units came out together on the three year anniversary. I've been waiting for them to drop the Gogeta version for quite a while, right? Like, it just doesn't make a ton of sense that they would release these units too far apart to where, like, you know, the Gogeta one will be, like, ten times better or something like that, right? But now that we're going into, seemingly, the Tanabata celebration, look at what Tanabata was last year, right? Uh, so, Tana Tanabata is part one banner where these guys right here, bam, and then the part two banner was this guy, right? So we had a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, June 30th, right? I am expecting probably June 30th or 29th. I, th I think a fusing Gogeta, right? I've been saying that for a while now. Um, Dokkan Fest exclusive LR. And then we have a summonable LR in part two. So, like, it, it's very obvious what they could do, right? They could give us the fusing Gogeta, the Goku and Vegeta unit, as the Dokkan Fest exclusive LR on, like, June 30th. And then we could get LR Super Janemba on... Wait, wh when when did... What was Jiren's release date? It was, like, July 14th, July 15th, something like that. Um, I think we could see an LR Janemba release on or around this date, July 16th. 
I think we are going to be seeing an LR Super Janemba um, added into Dokkan. So that is going to be very, very exciting. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at this unit right here, considering how close the, like, the two from the three anniversary are, I, I would think... God damn, I keep accidentally clicking. I, I'm actually pretty excited because I've been wanting the remake of this unit for a while. I expect this LR Gogeta to be very similar to this, right? Like, I, I would not be shocked if they're literally the same unit. And then the differences would be when he goes in a Super Gogeta, right? I, I really could see that. And if that's... Honestly, if they just make them exactly the same, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, now, if we look at the unit... So, I mean, this is, you know, Fusion, Pure Saiyan, Join Forces, Movie Hero, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Otherworld Warrior, Final Trump Card, Connected Hope, Power Revival. Like, a buff to, like, Fusion, Movie Hero, Connected Hope, Power Revival, Otherworld Warrior. We're talking about teams that really could use what is going to be a ridiculously powerful unit of this caliber. I anticipate they will be a Movie Hero's lead, right? Again... Going into the 2022 Dragon Ball Super movie, they're turning movie heroes into a premium category. The dumbest dummy in the world can obviously tell that's going to... Oh, they don't have the Goku and Piccolo on the wiki yet. Okay. But Goku and Piccolo, LR Tapion just came out. LR Gohan just came out. PyCon just came out. Krillin just came out. Goten and Trunks just came out, right? Like, you look at the list, you could see the massive buffs they've had just within the last seven, eight months, right? And then again, I think we're probably going to see um, like an LR, a Goku and Vegeta fusing LR. So this is going to be very, very sick. Um, now, there is still in the future, by the way, the possibility... No, we don't need Goku. Um, the possibility that we could see a standalone Super Gogeta and Super Vegito show up at some point. But I mean, that will probably be like an anniversary, like, you know, celebration or something like that. But like, look... Like, this is the last standalone Super Gogeta card. April of 2017. So, it's like, people will go, oh, Fusions, way, way. But it's like, dude, they don't release Fusions. Like, like Gogeta and Vegitos, they, they are not as common, I would say, as a lot of people think they are, right? So, I'm just super pumped. Because um, this, this, to me, is looking like, you know, a shoe in basically. Um, and then we probably would get this guy easy aing during Tanabata. Uh, this is hype, right? Because, again, this guy is on a lot of teams that really could use the help. Revived Warrior is always good. Super Saiyan 3 needs it bad. Another buff to Movie Hero, right? Otherworld Warrior needs a really bad buff. So, like, a bunch of teams that need it are getting this guy. It's funny. I literally just recorded a level 10 link video for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku last night. Um, and now, you know, we've got this guy seemingly getting his easy A next. So, I mean, for them to go from physical final form cooler into in LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, now into this guy, definitely very, very hype. Um, again, Janemba, I could see a standalone um, Super Janemba LR being the thing, you know, because we did just get the transforming Janemba. Honestly, I mean, you know, you guys know what I'm going to say. Um, I need this LR Super Janemba to be a rainbow orb changer to work great with this guy. Like, if they did that, if, if they drop LR Super Janemba and he's a rainbow orb changer, that would, like, you know, it makes a lot of sense, too, with, like, the jelly bean bullshit that he does. Like, the background, like, you see the, like, the jelly bean stuff, right? Like, it makes sense that Janemba, I think, would be a rainbow orb changer. Like, I don't even think that's really that much of a stretch or anything like that, right? Um, and then I have Frieza pulled up. Uh, again, you know, it sounds like it's just going to be like a Frieza final form. Um, and then he's just going to Dokkan Awaken into the Frieza and the Death Core. Um, hard to say if that's going to be a movie bosses unit. But obviously, Janemba would be a movie bosses unit. I mean, dude, that would be... Like, if you're running like three Super Janembas... Because I imagine an LR Super Janemba would either be the best villain unit in the game or in the discussion, right? So you could run like movie bosses with like triple super janembas run like physical final form cooler on there you know it, it, it could just get nasty so this is very exciting um the fact that the dragon ball z fusion reborn gogeta movie is looking to be the theme of tanabata to me is very very hype so let me know what you guys think um i mean I, there's i mean it's obvious right they're not just gonna go back to this movie and drop this unit alongside like 
the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, right? Like, I don't, I don't think Blue Gogeta is coming in two weeks. It's definitely Super Gogeta, right? Because this is going to tie into the theme. Um, also, they are confirming, you know, just like the last several years, that the anniversary LRs are going to return on the Tanabata banner. Um, I mean, that really could be an interesting banner. So, like, LR UI Goku, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, and then this theoretical fusing Goku and Vegeta into Gogeta, that could be a very, very sick banner that you might want to look at summoning, right? It's up to you. So, let me know what you guys think of the remake uh, seemingly coming in uh, for our boys uh, Goku and Vegeta right here. Um, Here, let me just pull it out, and I'm going to end with this. This guy. Finally, I've been waiting, man. He is going to dominate. I love the STR Vegito. This Gogeta is probably going to be sick just like that, right? So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.